Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Victoria and this is Super Geeked. Normally I'm on here talking about things I get super geeked about, like reselling or thrifting or mid-century modern. But today's video, I'm gonna talk about something that I am not super geeked about. <laughs> and that is I got permanently suspended from eBay. And when I say permanent, I mean, they said this decision is final. I cannot appeal it and they are parting ways with me. Kind of sounds like a breakup. <laughs> so I'm going to try to quickly break down for you what happened yesterday. Um, I'm in a little bit of a rush because I have to go pick up my kiddos from school. I wasn't expecting to make this video. I was supposed to be filming a fun haul video today, <laughs> but instead I'm filming this video for you and I'm doing it because I hope that this will help some other people. I definitely uh, had a odd experience with eBay and I'm hoping that this will be helpful to other people. So yesterday afternoon I got on my email and I had an email from eBay and I'm going to basically give you the rundown of what it says. So it said your account has been suspended. Hello super geeked. We wanted to let you know that your eBay account has been permanently suspended because of activity that we believe was putting the eBay community at risk. We understand that this must be frustrating, but this decision was not made lightly and it is important that we keep our marketplace safe for everyone. Learn more about how and why accounts can be suspended. And then it says, here's what you need to know. You will no longer be able to use your account to buy or sell items and any new accounts you set up may be suspended. Any listings have been removed and they can be viewed below. We've credited all associated fees except for the final value fee for your listings. Any outstanding selling fees are due and will be charged to your payment method on file. If you've already opened any dispute claims for these fees, they won't be charged until the claims have been resolved. If you have any questions or think we've made a mistake, please get in touch. We're here to help. And then there is a list of all of the items they removed. And so here's a screenshot of my email. And the link that says get in touch, I actually did click on that when I got this. And it just brings you to the eBay frequently asked questions page that has to do with suspensions. It doesn't really give you much information except for what a suspension is. Um, I was aware of suspensions because I know that some of my friends have gotten suspended for different things, innocent things. I personally have never been suspended on eBay. I've never had a Vero. I have 100% feedback and I'm a top rated seller. Now I don't have a very large account on eBay. I just started selling on eBay again about a year and a half ago. So I'm, I'm not a huge account. So I did what anybody else did. I scrolled to the bottom and I clicked on contact us and open the chat. I remembered that there was an option to have eBay call you back or to call eBay, but I didn't see that. So I went to Google and I tried to find a phone number for eBay. The phone number that I found, I called and it basically directed me back to the website. So I didn't get a human on the phone. And then the other phone number said it was for fraud. So since I'm not a large account, I don't have a contact at eBay. I don't have a phone number. So I went back to the chat and I was able to get a rep and I'm going to read you what was told to me as to why I got a suspension and why it was permanent. So the first representative I talked to, his name was Arnell. And Arnell, I just told that, you know, I was freaking out <laughs> that my account was, that I got an email saying my account was suspended. I wasn't sure what I had done. I had never got a notification that I was gonna be suspended. I've never gotten a Vero. I am a top rated seller. I have 100% feedback, all the things I just told you. And, um, he said he was going to check on it and he asked if he could put me on hold for a second and I said yes. And this is what he came back and said, because I said absolutely please do. And here's a screenshot just of that part of the conversation. And he said, thank you for patiently waiting. I checked your account and we're glad on your interest in our site. However, the risk of allowing you to use eBay any further is too great a concern. So we needed to suspend your account. The concern is high enough that the decision is final and cannot be overturned. The reasons for these are due to the activity performed in the usage of the account. This also may have something to do with information registered on the account. 
Unfortunately, your account cannot be considered for reinstatement, and I am afraid to tell you that this is final. And I said, what does that mean? What did I do? And he said, I know this isn't the response you were hoping for, but the decision is final and cannot be overturned. Same decision will be provided if you try to contact us back. Thanks for using eBay. You do have a wonderful day ahead. And then he actually left the conversation. So he just hung up on me. <laughs> I wasn't even able to respond. So of course, now I'm like freaking out going, what does that even mean? Like, what did I do? How am I a risk to eBay? That's crazy. So if you look, it says, hi, Victoria, you know, I, your chat has ended. And I said, um, I still need help. <laughs> so I clicked to get another agent. And about three minutes later, I got someone named, I'm going to probably butcher this name, but it's Chabalita. She said, I, you know, I'm sorry to see that your account is currently on suspension. I understand the importance of the account to run up again. I'll be sure to look in to see what I can do. First, I need to review your account. Can I put you on hold? And so she did that. And I said, that's what the last person told me. Please don't hang up on me. I don't know what I did. You know, same thing I told that the last rep. I said, this is crazy. I've been a good seller on eBay. Look at my feedback. And she said, I completely understand that, Victoria. Having thoroughly reviewed your account, I am sorry, but we found that it is suspended because of the pattern of activities exhibits a risk to eBay and to its community. And I'm like, what pattern is she talking about? As eBay is an internet-based business and its members are our customers, we have to carefully weigh the risk involved with allowing users on our site. I said, what does that mean? What is what is a risk? What activities? What did I do? Why can't I get a straight answer? I was a top rated seller. She said, I appreciate your great performance here on your account, Victoria. Please kindly understand that we consider many factors to take an action on an account and it doesn't only involve the items a member lists or purchases. But please understand that due to security reasons, we cannot disclose what this information is. From time to time, we find accounts that have a risk that no longer justifies continuing a relationship with eBay. When that happens, we suspend these accounts and they're no longer able to use for buying. So that is this conversation here. I also knew what this meant is that nobody in my household is able to ever sign up for an eBay account because eBay tracks IP addresses, and if someone else in your household registers for an account, they're going to get blocked too. So that means my husband or even my kids, if we stay living in my home and they're older, they're seven and eight now, but if they are older and they want to sign up for eBay, they're not going to be able to because I'm suspended. Anyway, she basically said in the end, you know, I get you upset. I get you, Victoria. I would feel the same way, but please understand we don't take action towards the account if we don't have enough hard evidence. eBay won't suspend or restrict an account if we don't have enough evidence. We value all the members on the site. However, we need to place policy and able to have safe trading here on our platform. The account will remain suspended and it's the final decision to part ways. And she left the conversation. So she did stay on there longer with me, but still I got no answers. So no information, um, nobody to call. And I was just told by two members on chat that that's it. It's final. Can't do anything. No appealing it. That's it. So at this point I have to make a decision. Like, what am I going to do? I went, I took to Instagram. I don't have a big Instagram following. Um, so I didn't even know what would happen aside from maybe finding out from some of my reselling friends if they've ever had a similar experience and thank you so much so many of you reached out to me um specifically i want to point out a couple things that were pointed out to me first of all my friend alexis sent me a message there was a lady in a facebook group that's just it's a poshmark facebook group but who had said that she decided to start cross posting and she actually listed, signed up for an eBay account. Uh, she listed her first item and then got an email telling her she was suspended and it was final. So I don't know if the same thing happened to this lady, but um, definitely a cause for pause. You know, I'm sitting here racking my brain going, what am I doing? Um, some people re reached out to me and asked me if I knew about 
Chris from Daily Refinement and his band from eBay. I had watched his video. Um, I was aware of it. I wasn't selling anything high risk. I'm just selling the normal run of the mill stuff from the thrift store, things that all of you are probably selling too. So I, I didn't think that that was the same situation. Someone brought up Lindy Glenn. Uh, I know she's another YouTuber and I don't really follow her, but I did watch her video. She got suspended, I believe for a week. And hers was a situation where she sells items with expiration dates and she had a listing and she just put that it was out of stock, uh, which a lot of people do. They create a listing and then when they sell the item, they just put out of stock until they get more. Uh, but she had not changed the expiration date on an item that, you know, it, she no longer had any in stock. So why would she change the, change the expiration date? But because of that, it flagged her because she had expired items expired because the date that was originally on there was an older date. So it was past expiration. So she got suspended for seven days. I'm not selling anything with expiration date. So I knew that probably wasn't the situation. So then I'm thinking, what could it possibly be? Like what, what would cause my account to be suspended permanently? And some of you were just trying to help any way you could because you felt terrible about it. And I cannot thank you enough. My friend Amanda, who goes by Miss A Web, was step by step taking screenshots on her eBay screen, trying to get me to get a the ability to ask eBay to call me. But because you're suspended, they take that option off of eBay. So when you go on your eBay account and you're able to click contact us and request that eBay call you back, I didn't have that option. That option was taken away once the suspension was done. So I didn't even have an option for eBay to call me. The only option I had was chat. Thank you to all of you who reached out and were helpful or sympathetic. I really appreciate it. Um, it meant a lot to me. It made a girl feel seen when I felt like a tiny fish dealing with this Goliath, you know? And so here is what ultimately happened. So I was at a point where I was going, okay, what are we gonna do? Like Poshmark is in the toilet. I talked about that in my last video two days ago. And now this eBay situation is out of control. Like, what am I gonna do? Like, do I quit reselling? Like, do I create my own site? Like, what am I gonna do? Well, my girl, Tanya, she's a local reseller. You may know her as Double T's Treasures, texted me this morning and she said, I have a phone number for eBay. Ding. <laughs> so thank you, Tanya. I told her she is an angel and I owe her a drink and I'm gonna buy her husband a drink. So I was able to call eBay and here's what happened. So I called eBay and I explained to the rep that, you know, everything that had happened, she actually could see all the conversations with the other reps. And she proceeds to tell me that what actually happened was that eBay called me and didn't get me on the phone. And after they called me and weren't able to get me, they suspended my account because they couldn't verify the information they were needing to verify. What? So first of all, and Tanya and I were talking about this, I don't answer every foreign number that comes through my phone. And I, and certainly some of them come up as spam by the cell phone providers. So I have no idea. I get calls all the time and there was no message left. And also why would eBay call me instead of sending me an email asking me to call them to verify this information? I have no idea. But thankfully I called eBay and she said they just need to verify some information. So they go through and she said, you know, are you willing to do that? I said, absolutely. So she, she proceeds to ask me the questions. And the first one is, what color are your eyes listed as on your driver's license? Uh, one of the questions was, what color is one of your cars? So I told her the color of the car. It's actually the car my husband drives. Um, she asked me, what school have I gone to? And she listed a bunch of schools and I confirmed which college I graduated from. And then she asked me what organization I am connected to. And one of them was Biloxi Roller Derby. Little known fact, I started the first 
all women's flat track roller derby league in the state of Mississippi, and then started the first co-ed league in the state of Mississippi. I guess that came up on my credit because we had an LLC at one point for the roller derby, for Biloxi roller derby, but gosh, that was like, that was a long time ago. So I haven't done roller derby in a very long time. So that was kind of weird, but I was able to verify all the answers and she said, I can reinstate your account. Really? That was it? So unfortunately, all of my listings were taken down. So I have to go back and relist all of those items. But luckily I use Vindu, so they're all stored in there. It won't be that, it won't be hard to do. And I'll just list a little bit at a time. But she confirmed it had nothing to do with my listings. It had nothing to do with my performance on the site. It had nothing to do with anything other than they needed to verify who I was. So I don't know what triggered their needing to verify that I am who I am or if somebody reported me or if, what. I don't know what happened, but something happened. They needed to verify I was myself. They called me one time. I didn't answer the phone and my account got suspended for life. <laughs> so Thank you to all of you who reached out to me, who tried to help, who were so supportive or just sympathetic to what I was going through. I'm glad to say my account was reinstated. Uh, I will relist all of the items I had on eBay, but just in case anybody's out there watching, there is an option to call the 800 number. I don't know if it's a public number, but you're welcome to message me on Instagram. I'd be happy to share it with you. If you've had a similar experience with eBay, I would love to know about it. So definitely let me know in the comments. If you're new to my channel, generally I'm in a good mood and posting happy things, especially all the things I get super geeked about. So you'll see thrifting, reselling, estate sales, vintage, mid-century modern, lots of fun stuff. And I would love for you to subscribe if you're interested. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to somebody and my next video is going to be a haul no matter what. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye y'all.